What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing another Blender tutorial because I heard you guys have been following my tutorials and I'm pretty happy about that because I love making these tutorials and I love just people learning, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but I've run into a lot of problems animating Minecraft stuff and I, I spend hours trying to figure out what's wrong with it, you know, and I have a lot of experience animating Minecraft, so that's pretty much why my tutorials are so long as well just before I get into this tutorial today I find it that I can make tutorials in less than one minute that should be twenty minutes but I make them like ten minutes because I try to fit in as much uh, experience and details into the tutorial so that you actually understand what you're doing instead of just following along with the tutorial and not knowing what you're doing, but you have an end result, but you didn't even know what did what and what that was for. Anyway, so uh, today we'll be making any Minecraft, you can make any Minecraft drop or weapon or tool. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. So just press delete and enter to delete the starter cube. Press space, add plane, enter. Uh, what I like to do is I just press R. Y in 90 just to bring it up, but you can just uh, you can go R, Y, and then hold control to snap to the grid and have it upright perfectly 90 degrees. It's your choice. There's many ways to rotate this thing up, but uh, I prefer that and I like to teach you guys that because it's really quick. Now we want an image for the uh, plane. Uh, it could be a Minecraft tool, uh, drop, or weapon. So I've selected a redstone dust and I've already downloaded it, but what I need you to do to actually complete the tutorial is you need to search up whatever it is with Minecraft and then uh so like Minecraft redstone dust, then go into search tools and uh go into exactly so size exactly and then type in sixteen by sixteen. Do this, find your image, save it as to wherever you want and that's how you do that. So, uh, now what we want to do is we want to drag out this window here and change this little icon to UV Image Editor. Um, I have this render result. And just go to Image, Open Image, and find your image that you saved to wherever. I saved mine to my desktop. I'm going to open up that and just zoom in so that you can actually see the image. It's nice to have a transparent background. Uh, if you don't, it's still fine as long as it's 16 by 16 pixels exactly. And I'll show you why as we uh, go into this tutorial. So now what we want to do is we want to give this plane a material and a texture. So just go to Material, the Material tab, press New. And then the Texture tab, press New. Always create the material first. Then go to Image or Movie uh, from Clouds, the type. And then... Right here in this icon, uh, it looks like a photo. Uh, instead of clicking new, uh, click your 16 pics, grid, redstone dust, whatever it is you downloaded. And uh, it should show up there, just single file. Now we have a preview on it. It looks kind of blurry. We want to correct some th things, so uh, let's correct the blurriness first. Uh, go to image sampling, uncheck interpolation. Um, make sure you keep use alpha on and MIP map and then filter to feline. And then we want to change mapping from generated to UV so that we can UV edit this on and it won't be all messed up. So, um, now looking at this uh, plane here, we want to make sure we're in edit mode. So press tab to go into edit mode or just go into this tab here and change it from object mode to edit mode. And then, um, let's see. We need to find, we need to make sure this is selected before we go into edit mode, because if it's not, we go into edit mode. Uh, it's not letting us go into edit mode because I selected a lamp, but short story is uh, you won't be able to select it. If it's not already selected before you go into edit mode, you might have a problem with that. So once it's selected, everything, just go uh, mark seam, 
which basically marks uh, all the different sides, which is in this plane, it's only this one and this one. And then unwrap and then unwrap. And now you can see it's on here. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to see our kind of render result right now. If we press F12, as we can see, it's crooked. But we want to work with the image in real time while we're just kind of deleting things. So uh, change viewport shading from uh, solid or whatever it was in to textured so we can actually see uh, it on. And it's kind of crooked. So what we want to do is go back to the window, press B, select everything, make sure it's selected it already is, is and then go to UVs snap to pixels and then just press R and rotate it until it is perfectly straight so now um, what we want to do is we want to make sure we're still in edit mode and go into this window press W subdivide 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 until all the subdivisions line up with this image. This is why we wanted it to be 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So, now what we want to do is we want to pretty much go down here, uh, no, here, and we've got these kind of three orange box things. One's uh, to select just vertices like this, the other's to select whole edges like this. Uh, and the last one is what we want to use, and it's the face select. So it in selects the entire one of these. We can grab it, do whatever. But what we really want to do is first look at this, look at this. All right, so let's hold shift and delete all the uh, little cubes around it. Not all of them, just like just the ones around, wrapped around the object here and then we can go on and delete the rest but let's just do this for now and uh, the next step is to delete the excess border which we'll do okay so that looks good enough let's just delete and then press faces and then it's perfectly deleted now here's a problem that you could run into uh, because the next step we have to press box select and then we need to uh, so just press B on your keyboard and then we need to kind of delete the excess border but when you select it all this gibberish happens and you only selected the top so if you have this problem it's this little icon here it's kinda of like a box with like a couple of points and it says limit to selection to visible uh, basically uncheck this and now you can see these little points on it uh, now you can properly box select delete faces box select delete faces and etc until your border is completely cleared and all you can see is your object in my case the redstone dust the next step is obviously making it 3d uh, we need to use a modifier to do that and I will show you just how to do that in one second after I get all these faces deleted there we go now we have our plain redstone thing if we render this it looks all cool it's just redstone but it's not 3d it's still 2d so go into this modifiers tab here and add modifier uh, click solidify and we have a couple of options here but the only one we really want to use for this redstone is thickness right now it's 0.01 change it to 0.1 so we get good thickness you can change it to thicker if you want it's all on how you think it should be it could be freaking this and if we render that we've already got a problem and I know how to fix that just hold on I'm gonna change the uh, thickness back to point one and after you uh, have changed your thickness and played around with the settings click apply so now our modifier is with our mesh and as confusing as that sounds it's not too confusing so Let's just uh, drag our camera back here. There we go. That's better. And as you can see, if we render this, we've got we've got white kind of bits here. Uh, and I'm gonna just uh, turn on environment lighting on. So uh, in the world tab, just ch check that and just brighter lighting just to work with. And so we got these white spots. What do we do with them? So um, we want to. 
right click and hold shift everything all the uh, extruded the new extruded border and right now we have this box thing back on we want it off alright so just hold shift and select the entire outline kind of extruded 3d faces uh, with the faces tool selected and again it's just down here now this isn't ideal what we're about to do but most objects in minecraft when they're extruded like this like their drops and the weapons and the tools and the buckets or whatever uh... the edge is all one color and in this case with the redstone it is dark red uh... with diamond it's like blue so as we can see this is the border and this is what we want the extruded bit to look like so go into uv's uncheck snap to pixels and then find the color and just size this down to very small like this and then just drag it to whatever color the border is so the border is right here so this is what we want the color to be and then you're done you're completely done it looks just awesome and uh... just uh, an extra tip here let's uh... put our camera here we can actually use keyframes with this because it is actually a finished object now uh... textures and everything uh... so let's go press i location rotation scale right here and then let's skip ahead ten frames and rotate it on the z-axis ninety degrees uh... and then press location rotation scale and then go to 20 and then R Z 90 and then uh, location rotation scale and let's see how this goes I'm not sure how this is gonna go ah oh, damn it where's my play button stupid Skype just play okay let's do this there we go see it perfectly rotates we can uh, F12 at this frame. You can see it's all 3D. So uh, thanks for watching my tutorial. That's pretty much the end of it. And I really hope you uh, enjoyed and learned how to do this. And now you can use it in whatever Minecraft scene you're going to recreate. Uh, please subscribe because um, I just... I'm low on subscribers. I mean, for for the amount of time I put into my videos, editing and everything, I think I'm underestimated and underrated whenever people find my videos they like them and I'm really happy about that but tell your friends I don't know subscribe thanks for watching hope you tune into my future videos and uh, yeah see you later